Hello guys, this is the Free to Play Dude and welcome again for another video in Epic 7. Now, today is gonna be the first video of this RTA draft analysis series. We are gonna analyze my draft, analyze the bands, and we are gonna try to understand which one is gonna win and why. And again, if you want to participate in the next videos, you can send the picture of your matches here like this. I'm gonna hide the results and we are gonna try to understand together which one is gonna win based only on the draft. We're gonna learn together and uh, it's gonna be fun. If you want to participate, Discord link in the descriptions. You're gonna see every info there. So that said, guys, these are gonna be pre-recorded matches. I'm gonna try to analyze four or five matches every episode. So yeah, let's jump into the first one. This is gonna be the first match. And I generally ban General Burgess because uh, if I want to cleave my way, he's a must ban. I cannot cleave into that. And this I decided to ban the FCC. So we are facing a cleaver too. And he picks Angelica. So... I have two options, I can tank up, but I don't have any good knight and debunks the FCC, so I cannot tank up, but I can instead decide to cleave him with single target attacks, like even Harby can work with the S1, so he's gonna have very squishy units, yeah, I go for the Harby, and now I just need one initiator, and uh, probably the best one is the Kise here, yeah, I'm picking Kise, so with the Kise, I have a single target initiator, and uh, this pick is in order to pick the Watcher Shuri later, because uh, it's gonna push me with the Artifact. I kill one unit with the S3 on Kisa, and uh, the Watcher Shuri is gonna push me by 16%. So I get my push, I get my Initiator, and uh, I can just cleave him. Now, it is decided to go for the Violet and an Initiator. Probably the Violet can be a problem, but uh, I still stick to the plan, probably. Yeah, I go for the Vildred and probably the Shuri. Oh, the Didica. Whatever. He decided to go for the haste, Let's and he finished with a speed imprint, yeah. I was expecting a speed imprint, and uh, I need to ban that, and uh, I'm probably just gonna end up with the Shuri anyway. So it's gonna be super strong in combo with the Kisa, and uh, he's gonna have to ban the Kisa this way. Yeah, I pick the Shuri. This point, his only option is to ban the Kisa. If he bans the Kisa, he lock me out of initiation, because uh, I cannot test 2 with the Lydica, so I can just test 3. Now, he decided instead to ban the Vildred, and his idea here is uh, he's gonna outspeed, kill the Harby, he's gonna take a huge barrier, and it's gonna be over. But uh, I was pretty sure I was gonna outspeed like this. He's gonna have to be 305 speed. Yeah, we started. We're gonna S3D Assassin Seed here, and uh, this is not gonna push enough the Angel Angelica, because uh, it's only 5%. Oh, we can S3D Angel Angelica here. And uh, if we reset here, we are gonna be in a huge advantage, but unfortunately, he just resisted, so it's gonna be harder for us, but we still have plenty of options. This doesn't matter, I could not S3 with the RB anyway, because uh, I would proc Angel Angelica S3, so now I'm deciding if I go for the haste, I want to lower him up, but I'm already silenced on everyone, so I just killed the Assassin Seed, and uh, yeah. We are gonna work from there, go for the Angelica, we are gonna just finish her, because uh, if we don't, the Ace is gonna just heal her up. S3, and he goes for the Lydica, now, this is the only match we lose, guys, from the four matches I'm gonna bring, and uh, you are gonna see why. Decides to go for the Shuri, I think this is a mistake, because uh, he leave the Harby up, and uh, he has no barrier, so if I just hit the Vildred there, it's probably game over. Now Harby dies, comes back, and uh, I don't burn, because I want to save the burn for the Kisa. Maybe the Kisa can just one-shot the Ace with a burn. He has a barrier. Harby's gone again, Vildred evade for the second time, let's try to kill the Ace. Uh, that's not even close damage, but uh, yeah, this is gonna probably finish him. Yeah, Ace is gone, and now it's Vildred against three of us. Now, Water Kisa against Vildred is really bad. She's a symbol of unity, so she has a 20% chance of hitting him anyway. But uh, she's gonna evade again, she's gone. And uh, it just killed this Shuri here, and uh, it's game over. So, this is what I hate about this meta. Everything is around RNG. You miss the Violet, you lose. 
cheat him, he lose. It's kind of a 50 50, and I don't really like that. Whatever, let's go to the second match. So, he bans the Angelica, and 90% of the times when they ban the Angelica, they go Maid Chloe or Fallen Cecilia. And if they start like this, you can just leave them easily. So, I'm probably gonna go RB and Operator Secret, even if they don't go FCC. My Operator Secret have 200 effectiveness, so I'm gonna be pretty sure I'm gonna push, start the fight, and uh, they have no options like Angel Angelica to protect themselves against me. He decided to go for Cleave here, he switched to two very fast units, but still, he need to pick a mage, and he still needs speed imprints, because uh, I'm gonna just go with one speed imprint now, Petless Lyrica and another speed imprint, so if he don't pick, one or two speed imprints here, it's pretty much game over, because I just start and he has two very squishy units, and even if he goes two speed imprints, he's gonna need a mage to activate the power, so he's in a really weird spot, he misses a lot of stuff, so yeah, he decided to switch plan, because uh, he realized he's in a really bad spot, so he wanted to go for the mullet can and the t-surin, to very hard units to cleave, but uh, that doesn't matter, I can just ban the mullet can, and uh, I have solutions for everything. And even the Shuri, yeah, that's the best option because uh, the Shuri can one shot the Ken or one shot the Maid Chloe. So he had to do that. And uh, he need to hope he outspeed. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be very hard. I start, I push everyone. I push again, give the attack buff to everyone. And Harvey is gonna cleave a lot of them. Now, this is true with the Wilder, he's gonna kill 100%. And uh, the problem with high effect resistance made is that you sacrifice a lot of HP and defense, because uh, you still want her to be really fast. So, she's gonna die this easily to things like Wilder. That's a problem with those kind of mates, you can just cleave them. Okay, another FCC ban, so yeah, we expect a cleaver again, and instead this time he starts with the Harpy. That's very strong against me, because uh, I don't have Mule Taste to respawn, but uh, I'm gonna probably still try to cleave him instead. I have other options against the Harpy, like for example, I can just pick the Esteni. That's the best options I have for now, because she's very fast. And she can just one shot the Wildred two times. That's gonna be my solution. But I cannot pick the Spectre Tenebria yet. I need to pick Initiator and Speed Imprint. So yeah. I started with the Operator Secret. Probably the Watcher Shuri is the best option. Oh yeah. I go for the Spectre Tenebria anyway. So this is pretty much the same opening as before. But I pick the Spectre Tenebria instead of the Arby. Because he just picked the Arby. And I didn't pick the Faithless Lyrica. I go for the Kiza because uh, there's a Politis, and again, I have the combo Kiza into Watcher Shuri, so I can push myself anyway, and uh, I can just one shot one target in the meantime. Hmm. Goes for another Speed Contester, and he just need a yeah, just need a Speed Imprint. So Celeste is gonna be Speed Imprint. I'm gonna pick the Wildred here, 100%. It's another Speed Imprint. I'm gonna start the fight, and I'm just gonna cleave him. Only problem can be the Harby. The Harby can just one shot me with an Alexa basket, but my Kiza is gonna have a huge barrier and she's gonna be stealthed. So my Kiza is gonna be the win condition if he decides to ban the Esteni. He decided to go for the Operator Cigarette. That's probably the worst ban ever. He don't need to ban the Operator Cigarette. Any other thing could be better, like a speed imprint or a speed contester like Kiza. In fact, we start here. We are gonna kill the Assassin Seed. Because uh, this way he cannot reset my souls, and uh, I can just kill the Harby with the spec penny. Now the ring move, and even if she moves, the best thing she can do is to stun one of my units. And now he does a very smart thing. Don't stun any of my units. Now his plan here is to rely on me killing the Harby, he revives, and he kills all of my units. That's his plan, and that's why I decided to go for the S1. I unfortunately hit the Harby anyway. But uh, he didn't die, and uh, this is now hover. I can kill him once, kill him again. I can now one shot the Politis, and uh, yeah, the match is over. But he played very well there. Let's see the last match. Okay, last match, guys. He must the Angelic again, 
so it's probably gonna go made for FCC and uh, I'm just gonna cleave him. Ooh, he decided instead to go for the Crow. I'm gonna probably just go Harby and Operator Secret anyway. Again, she has very high effectiveness, so I don't care them to have a barrier. I can just push them anyway. And he goes for the RNG play, so Ram, a carrot instead. This is an instant Kisa pick for me. Yeah. <laughs> The Kisa counter the carrot, she can just destroy the carrot and uh, if I want to ban the carrot I can just reset the ram and do a lot of single target damage. She has multiple options and I really need more damage here, I already have 2 initiators, I'm probably gonna go for something like Buildred or even Spectre Tenebria. So if I go Spectre Tenebria I'm gonna scare him off of picking Violet because uh, he's my- yeah, I go Spectre Tenebria. The Violet is the scariest thing you can pick here and uh, he goes for it. But uh, I have the perfect pick for the game, the Briar Witch Aesiria. She's gonna destroy the Violet, she's gonna destroy the Kairon. The only problem for her is the Ram. I may actually just end up banning the Ram. He's gonna be forced to ban the Briar Witch Aesiria and uh, I can just kill every other thing with my Spectre Tenebria. So I don't care that. I can just ban the Ram here, yeah. This is the ban. And he decided to go for the Spectre Tenebria ban instead. I think that's a mistake, probably had to ban the Briar Witch Aesiria there, so yeah, we start, we're gonna reset the carrot here, she even resisted, doesn't matter, we're gonna have 3 here, oh and my Wildred goes before my Briar Witch, that's bad, that's RNG, but we eat the Violet there, so <laughs> it's probably game over anyway. Now, look at the Briar Witch I see at damage here. She's insane against this kind of teams. And uh, she's an insane damage dealer with the attack buff on. And the S2 of the Kiza is gonna just finish them off. So, this game. The Kairon survives actually, but uh, even if he kills my RB here, he cannot kill the Briar Witch I see yeah. He realizes that and uh, he gave up. So, yeah. That is gonna be it for today's video. I'm gonna try to analyze four of five matches in every video. I hope you enjoy guys, if you do please leave a like or consider subscribing, it's gonna help a lot. If you want to participate again, this link in the descriptions and uh, yeah, I'm gonna see you on the next video guys, bye bye.